Hey, boys. Hmm? Alrighty. New day. I picked up some steel. I got a bunch more outside. I picked up some more half inch. I was going to buy a sheet of aluminum until I found out the price. So I'll have to be a little more committed before I actually <laughs> pull the trigger on that. I think uh, the last time I bought a sheet was when I made those bomber seats for my 37. And it's gone up like over $100 a sheet. So yeah. We might go with a thinner gauge. Hopefully that gets us closer to that same dollar value that it was. But uh, regardless, we got to build some structure anyway. So we're going to do that. I think around here, I'm going to add some one by one underneath the floor. Give that some strength. We'll tie it back into the body. And then I'll probably do some half inch to tie in those pieces. And uh, give us something to build our tunnel off of. I was gonna make it like nice and round and all this, but you know what, in the end, it's not that important. We'll probably make it a little square. It'll be easier to make. And uh, then we can do it in chunks. So just simpler. And then in the back, we're gonna, well, I gotta do some floor structure and then I'm gonna do some half inch around here to cover stuff up. We'll have to make a shelf for the fuel tank to sit on, which shouldn't be much. I think it's just a bit of strapping or something. Then we can bolt those straps in and uh, bolt, weld them, whatever. But then we can like fasten the tank down. So it seems like the game plan for this round. And uh, maybe we'll get the rad mounted and uh, get our shock mounts, but I won't get ahead of myself this round. We'll just start with some tedious floor stuff first and uh, we'll see where we get from there. Yeah, bud. Hmm? Well, a couple days passed. I didn't really get anything done anywhere. Uh, but looking at some comments, folks were saying how uh, this steering box I have a problem getting at the spark plug. And no, because of the way I'm going to tilt this, it's uh, you can still get in there. I guess it's tight, but it'll be fine. It's not the worst of things to get because the plug is actually over here. So. I don't know. Should be okay. All right. So, game plan. Seeing how we have the floor semi-tacked, I'm uh, going to just start building a simple structure off of here. And we're going to follow. I just, the only thing is my transmission was got some bits here. So whatever I do, I probably do the perimeter here. I'll jump over, kind of do this, catch the outside of this, and then we'll probably tap into somewhere. I don't know. And then uh, from there, we can do some of our half inch, go over and build our tunnel sections. So loosey goosey, that's the plan for now to at least get this part of the floor kind of done or like some structure into it. Because from there, we're going to tie into the body here. So we'll zap into that. At least that's the plan. That could change. We kind of just do things on the fly here. But right, buddy? Is that the plan? Yes, sir. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to get started. Start cutting some steel up and make this happen.
All right. So you might have questioned what I've been doing because I've been cutting all my stuff out of here. I really, my original intention here was I was going to uh, build that structure with the floor pans in, but I realized there was like some problems with my plan. So I uh, cut the floors out mostly because this mount here was actually like raising my floor pan when I went across. And uh, there was bits of it that, that weren't actually level. Um, you can see here I got some one by one. And then here I got one by one. I went by half. This is half inch square. And then from there is actually just going to be the, the actual 14 gauge. Because I channeled the front harder than I did the back, it's actually... Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's actually taller and works its way down. So, whatever. That's, like, not a big deal. This part here, I'm going to, like, trim this and actually tuck it in behind the floor pan. But, uh, I don't know. I just wasn't happy the way I was doing it. So, I ended up cutting the floor pans out. I started building some actual structure. So, there's going to be plenty of strength for the floor pans now to sit on. And then we'll tack it in and be able to tack the floor all properly and have somewhere good to fasten our seats to and stuff like that. Yeah, whatever. Didn't work out the way I wanted, but I think in the end, this is gonna be better. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. Uh, I cut this side out, so we're pretty much gonna be treating this the same way as the other side. We're gonna be building a structure as good as I can to the uh, transmission, as tight as I can do. And then uh, from there, kind of daddle that one over and then from there we'll kind of zap this down and we can start working the uh, tunnel section because uh, we'll have a good base for our floor uh, yeah I had good intentions when I started but it just worked out that it was not going to work the way I thought this ended up being easier I do have some weird little humps here but I think because this is the original body mount so when I get the floor pan where it's supposed to be I think we can like just beat this stuff down and actually get rid of the gaps and uh, be able to buzz this in I think by this part when I get up here this pan is going to be flush with this one so I might be able to just weld them together and then be able to do the body mount down that's kind of the idea this part when we get done I'll show you better what's going to happen there but I think I'm going to do a, a funky pie cut and we'll be able to tie it into the uh, firewall, which will be behind this part here when it's said and done. So it's a little weird yet, but you'll see. It'll work out really well when it's done.
we got a whole lot of floor pan under here. Uh, I still haven't welded it to the body on the top side there, but we got it here. It is all zapped in. We'll have to make some access holes to get to these body mounts and these ones back here. I might tie these into the floor some more just for the heck of it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Whole lot of welding, bunch of funky structure, but I think in the end, this is uh, gonna work out a lot better. So it's tied into here, it's tied into the firewall. It should be really strong. Not too worried about the center, but we'll probably still build a frame that we can do uh, just a simple tunnel through there. And then we'll start framing up the back of the cab and figure out how uh, we're gonna sheet that and do stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna get it back onto this chassis and then, um, then we can kind of, like I say, buzz up the other corners. Got our floor pretty much buzzed in. We gotta do here. We'll still have to do the tow boards and stuff, but we'll do that when we get to the uh, the tunnel. I have my fuel tank loosely mounted. I think the next step is I'm gonna try to figure out what we're gonna do, like some framing that we can uh, well be able to attach sheet to. I think here we're gonna have a bit of a package tray, but it's nothing huge. We'll actually end up having some room probably behind the seat. Um, but I'm going to start with this structure because it's going to go to the wall, then it'll close in and it's going to tie into that other stuff at some point. But uh, I think this I'm all going to do with that half inch. Well, maybe some one, but no, I'll do the half. I don't know. I'll decide as I go. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go under this, this lip because my trunk will still work and I can come off there and we can kind of just do some sheet up to it nice. Yeah. I'm not 100%. We'll start with the half inch and see how that works. If it works out good, then we go with it. <laughs> Other than that, everything else seems okay. And then we'll come back and finish up this. All right, well, let's build a basic skeleton, something that makes sense and looks pretty.
All right. Well, this sure isn't glorious, but we have something going on here. I decided to start with the tunnel. So kind of built just a simple structure going over. We're going to make it very simple, sheeted, weld to it, done. Flange on the bottom. We'll kind of clean up the everything else after. But uh, yeah, I'm not overthinking it. I'm not making it complicated. I do have a few of these little scabby pieces left, so we'll kind of use them as braces up in the middle there yet. Um, I don't know, something weird happened over there, but we'll deal with it and fix it up because seeing how the tunnel is what it is there, we're going to be trimming this back anywho. Uh, what do we got? Did this back part. I'm going to have to make the ledge for my fuel tank, um, which I think I'm just going to hang off the, like I'll make it off the frame rail. Probably make it with some, actually I got one by one. Let's just make a simple side mount with the one by one to hold that there. Um, I don't know what seats I'm running, but we definitely have a lot of room because I got a feeling the seats are going to be like in this vicinity. So it's actually going to be room behind the seat, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, I guess I could have come more with this package tray and then we could have had a bigger trunk, but eh. we will, uh, it is what it is. We'll just leave that stuff there. I don't think, these are pretty small chunks. So I might actually have some 14 gauge to do that. And then we can kind of come back and hit this thing with some 20. Because we'll have a pretty meaty, beefy top on it. So, and then I don't know if it'll all get carpeted or not. Like this might get carpeted. This, I might just bead roll some stuff in there just to, to doll it up a little bit. And here, we got to price some 20 gauge aluminum. So that won't be too bad for back here. But, uh. I'm just about out of one by one and I basically want to add a little more bracing into this. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to need here. Like it's really hard. 20 gauge aluminum is pretty light. So I'm not, uh, we'll maybe make a piece and stick it there and see how it is, how, how strong it feels. But uh, for the most part, we are uh, just going to 14 gauge this stuff up into the back. And yeah, like, I should be able to just sheet down the middle and be done. Anyways, enough babble. We'll just, uh, we'll cut some stuff. We'll start gluing some stuff and we'll see where we get here. Till I run out of material. That's usually what happens. didn't work out too bad so we got our basic floor pans all in uh, we got our structure for our tunnel our back panel again I got to get some more half inch just to build a little more strength to that because um, maybe I'll carry it out to the corner so we can kind of screw it in I'm not sure how I'm past well I guess you're gonna have to screw it in if I'm using aluminum right <laughs> 
I call the boater price a 20 gauge. That seems to be more affordable and seeing how it's not really going to be structural. It is just for just a doll up the inside to keep it pretty simple. So we got that. I uh, think I've got to figure out a shifter. And I got some junk sitting on the wall that I know I'll never use it on some of my own stuff personally. So I got this. I got to just figure out how, well, I bet you I don't have a cable and somehow I think it's fastened to the wall. So I'll, I'm going to pull that off, see how that fits, dig around for some seats to get a kind of a feeling what the uh, inside of this thing's going to be like. Uh, well, I'm going to do shifter first. I have an idea. I have some seats, but I think they're going to be too tall. I think we're going to need pretty low seats personally. Uh, some folks are saying like, don't cut the roof. It has been cut already. I don't know if you know that. I think this thing's been chopped three or four inches already. You can see by the cuts in there. So, and then the front head brow, the brow has been raised because usually there's a big fistful of metal that comes down. So, but I'm starting to grow on me the way it is. So, I don't know. I think it might stay. Maybe not. We don't know yet. We're not uh, fully committed yet to it. So, anyways, let me grab a shifter, some seats. See how things feel. If I like the way that is, if I gotta raise that or something, I don't know. For some reason, I like to build everything really tight and it makes life miserable. Actually, it's not bad. I should have just enough room for my foot <clears throat> on a gas pedal. No, we're gonna have to, we'll have to move this over a bit, but it's it's gotta do some stuff anyway. So, other than that, I think if we do the same thing and dome this a bit, we can probably get our foot in there for a gas pedal or break oh yeah this will all work well not sure i thought i had a bucket seat idea but it kind of fell through that didn't work this thing like it feels like it might be comfortable definitely going to be a lot of room behind the seat <laughs> if we have this as a shelf i think i want to leave it flat because then at least you could flip your seat forward and you'd have all this room for stuff we kind of this should be kind of nice like it feels okay but with that said we got there we got our shifter if a feller was sitting on it ugh, you probably don't want to chop it much unless you want to completely lean back like if you want to lean back then you can kind of chop more but let's pretend the average feller is going to sit normal like and uh i don't know there's room for chop but eh, i think it uh yeah, like probably this is as far back as a guy would want the seat in my eyes because then when this is back up here Yeah Not too bad. I don't know. I don't know what to think But we're a ways away from that being a problem <laughs> Who knows So I think the shifter placement is going to be okay here. It could probably even come back You know like right there and then we'll figure out our steering yeah i don't know i guess once there's some metal inside in the back here we'll know better i gotta go see if al actually has the the original dash bit here because if this window opens i would like to have this dash bit so the air can kind of come down and at least blow like the window blows against you but these dashes were always raised a wee bit so air would actually come in and blow at your feet so, because even though this thing is, uh, it looks like the old school air flap, this never was. This originally was where the fuel tank was on these cars. So you would lift this, undo it, your nozzle, and then you put fuel in. So that's not really an option. Man. Hmm. I don't know. The seats are nice. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It seems, you know, it's a little on the small side, but... I don't know, it'll probably fit the whole cockpit, the whole theme and everything. Kind of, I think once the uh, the aluminum is in here, it'll just almost start having like a bomber vibe to it. All right. Well, I don't know. We'll see where we go. See what we do.
Well, there we go. I think that's as far as I am getting today. So we got our uh, our actual floor and sub bracing all done. We have our our tunnel stuff mocked up, so that's good to go. Uh, we last bit here, you see me put in these rods. Our fuel tank actually has some mounts, and uh, we can get at it through the trunk. I know some people say you should put the filler on the outside for ease. I don't know, all my cars pretty much, I have to get into the trunk, so this doesn't seem like a big deal to me. I'm not too concerned with it. So that'll be framed off in the back there. That'll be framed off from the fuel tank. And then, yeah, like I say, we will have this very, very small trunk area that we can use to uh, put my prop rod. <laughs> Maybe a lawn chair or two. Yeah, not a lot of stuff. These taillights, people have had some pretty neat comments on that, but they're actually, uh, am I right? I think it's 40 Buick. I'm waiting, the guy that uh, I got the car from, he uh, has a bunch of parts for me yet. So I have to either pick him up or he's gonna come by. One of the two is gonna happen. And then uh, we'll have all the bits for the car. But anyways, I think that's uh, a good day here. Well, two days, whatever it's been, but uh, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave this one. I want to thank you folks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.